There is a TikTok trend going around called the hear me out trend where you bake a cake and then you print out pictures of inanimate objects, cartoon characters, or just celebrities that you are attracted to and you put them in the cake with your friends. Now that sounds innocent enough, but once I actually started looking at these videos, I realized everyone in these videos is female, first of all. And second of all, birth control has completely fried their brains and changed who they are sexually attracted to, to the point where I swear these women are attracted to like shapes and numbers. And it's it's disturbing. So your your hypothesis here is that it's the birth control that is making this happen. I think it might be. Let me just list off some examples of yeah. what I saw in the hear me out trend before we watch. Um, so women are attracted to the following in case you need to take notes, get your pen ready. The Grinch, Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks, Megamind, Waluigi, Gumby, the Energizer Bunny, Mater from Cars, Dr. Phil, Remy the Rat. Wait, why is Dr. From Ratatouille? Why does Dr. Phil get to be the human on here? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> don't ask me. Sully from Monsters Inc., Lord Farquaad from Shrek, mm -hmm. the Quaker Oats mascot. Yeah. Didn't expect that one. An octagon. Not kidding. Just the shape of an octagon. Like they see us like I, I just I don't understand. Okay. They see a stop sign and it they're, turns them on. Like, I don't, Let's go. The number eight, the number twelve. Like I wonder why. I, I I don't know. They probably don't know. The Venus flytrap from Little Shop of Horrors. Lego Batman, Pennywise, the nerd emoji, and many, many more. And I just listed off what I saw in the first can glance. You, can you explain to people then, because people were saying, what does this ha what does putting something in, in these items have to do with sexuality? Like, what, what do they mean by that? It's the hear me out thing. So you're like, hear me out. I'm attracted to Steve from Blue's Clues. Okay. Let me explain. But usually they don't explain. There's no explanation for most of this. Yeah. <laughs> I think most of it is because women just have their brains all scrambled up by years of birth control and their hormones are totally out of whack. And somehow you ended up sexually attracted to a car. So let's just yeah. take a look at a couple of these videos. One of them this was in the four workplace. Minutes long. Are we going to watch we'll the We'll just thing? start off and see see how how when we give up. Okay. So there's like a bunch of them here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So the first this one is an almost all female workplace, and there's one guy. Okay. So if you're listening right now, this is a woman who's saying, "Hear me out to a a cake." Mm -hmm. Okay. We are doing a office hear me out cake, and my first hear me out is Johnny from Sing the Gorilla. Oh. Wait. So so if this is inherently sexual right <laughs> yeah if a dude did this at the workplace there would be harassment. there's, there's a dude no in I, the... I i know but i'm saying if this was started by a dude in the oh, workplace oh. this would be hugely problematic probably yes oh, a gorilla w women are the gooners now it's insane. Women are the <laughs> ultimate gooners because society. Remember that video of the? I think this was our cringe of the day one time. This this chick was like, I am I am obsessed with the dad from Bluey. Yeah. And I she literally said that she masturbates to the dad from Bluey, a kids show. Like it went straight to bestiality. Yeah. Like, I mean, it gets worse. But, but, but here's the thing: because society has empowered women's sexuality so much and demonized men's sexuality so much, women are now the ultimate gooners because there are no repercussions to doing so. Yeah, it seems that way. This one is Bob Duncan from Good yeah, Okay, a person. At least it's a person. Yeah. yeah. I so agree. I so agree. Like right now, if a dude put down there Lola Bunny and then the next one put Pamela Anderson from Baywatch in 1997, <laughs> no, but the women in look, the office would be throwing an absolute conniption fit. You are misunderstanding the trend. The reason it's a hear me out mm -hmm. is because it's not conventionally attractive. I know. I'm, I'm merely speaking to the idea can't of it be being sexual at work at all. It, yeah, sure. Yeah. But it, it cannot be a conventionally attractive character. It has to be weird. Okay, That's the, the point. Then the first one would be 
Oh, I guess Lola Bunny wouldn't count then. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. So let's <clears throat> keep going. Mine is Osmosis from Osmosis Jones. Okay, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Sally from Cars. <laughs> <laughs> Sally from Cars. Yeah. Sally from Cars. Yeah. Sally from Cars. <laughs> the dude should have just come up and just put the hottest normal woman he could think of. Just a just to, a billboard of Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I don't just know. to just to derail. Okay, he's attracted to a car. Another Cars reference. Doc Hudson. Oh, Ken no, Gay. No, no, no. So that kind of proves that it's sexual, right there, because she says Ken Gay. Can get, get it. it. My first pick is Frozone from The Incredibles. I have Simba from Lion King. At least they used grown Simba. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to set my bar really low here and say that at least they didn't use, you know, kid Simba. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Why aren't they working? Uh, Do your job. It's their lunch break. Okay. <laughs> I'd hope. Okay, my first one is... <laughs> A horse. It's a muscular oh, horse. Is the, the main bug from Bugs Life. Oh, he is! <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, I have okay, at a certain point, I think this just devolves into none of them actually feel like this. They're just trying to outdo one another. I think they're being serious. Mm. I think and this I is genuine. Mine is the Lou from Jungle Book. Like, they're all animals. Okay, who's next? Okay, my next. Rodney from Robots. Oh my gosh. That's Rodney. Okay. I feel like he right. matches. We've got a good example of what they're doing here. But I do have an example of men trying the hear me out trend. Okay. So fun? it's from the Try Guys, formerly of BuzzFeed. The ones who had testosterone so low that it like didn't register? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It broke the machines. Let's see. His family, we can't stop. Mater from Cars. A classic small town hottie is gonna whisk you away from the big city. Steve from Blues Clues? That man taught me how to draw. He was an artist. <laughs> Gritty? I don't need to say anything about that. Yeah, so. Flippy! Sometimes mansplaining is hot. <laughs> okay, Bill Nye? Talking about climate change before it was sexy. This is Marlon for Finding Nemo. <laughs> I, I don't actually want to fuck him, but he does kind of look like Gritty. <laughs> Dragon from Shrek. Uh, because. Short Kings Do you want to explain uh, the to the people guy. listening? The Quaker Oats guy. And there's nothing hotter than breakfast in bed. Family too. Who's going to be the first to say Aunt Jemima? I dare them. Ooh, that would be controversial. Jesus, not hear me out. It's just facts. <laughs> and, and also Mater from Cars. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah. Thoughts? So that's the trend. I... My thoughts are that people are actually very disconnected from sexuality okay. despite the fact that it's talked about and written about and shown in tv and movies more than ever it's really all just in theory to them mm -hmm. like none of it is about human connection as you can probably tell by now mm -hmm. um there's all of this influence from porn and from the media you consume. And also, weirdly, people let mimetics control their attractions as well. Can you explain that? Meaning, mostly women in this example, they will just take cues from other women mm -hmm. about what they should find attractive, and it actually changes their preferences. And that's not even to mention... As I said before, the fact that so many of these women are on hormonal birth control pills, which essentially, to simplify it, trick your body into thinking that you are pregnant, thereby changing the type of male partner you are looking for. Usually you will be looking for a lower testosterone mate if your body is under the impression biologically that it's pregnant. And I think that it's just gotten to such an extreme where like women's brains are just absolutely broken by the stuff 
and what is how do not they, the, I mean how, they they hate men so I guess their only options left are cartoon characters how do you explain the dudes is just because they're basically women anyways in this video yeah I don't know about the dudes but I think also you know if you're conditioned to hate men if you hate men so much mm -hmm. your only options left are cartoon characters and inanimate objects mm -hmm. including dildos yeah like that's all you've got I think that I think your argument is completely reasonable, but I also think that a certain part of it just becomes like mimetic one-upmanship. A little bit, sure. Like yeah. to me, I think the desire to be internet famous or seem cool or in the know with your with your memes. Is it all? Thank you guys. Do you have a hear me out? No. Is there any like cartoon character that you wouldn't? It was like unexpected that you thought was attractive? No, my, my brain works perfectly normally. Or a character in a TV show or something? I don't know. No, I don't, th I, I don't think so. I, like, I, just... I feel like it's more of a woman thing in general, mm. right? Yeah. But um, what would, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not. Again, I'm... I think that the dudes here are probably more egregious. Like, they should be more embarrassed than these women. True, yeah. Like, the dudes here should be infinitely more embarrassed than the women. Here's my hear me out is... It's not even a hear me out because, like, Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender was just hot. Okay. So it's not even, like, controversial. He okay. just was conventionally attractive. I don't understand the whole, like... I'm attracted to octagons thing. It doesn't make any sense. Like I saw countless, countless Twitter threads where people were like, give me your worst hear me outs, your craziest hear me outs. And there were women yeah. replying with geometric shapes. Yeah. And they're like, I want to fuck a triangle. Like <laughs> what, what does it mean? There, there has to be, uh, I also somehow feel like constant internet input and the fact that you're looking at a screen all day plays a role in this in everything is two-dimensional anyway yeah, so like what's the difference between like look at anything in three-dimensional <laughs> spaces anymore yeah what what is the difference then between like henry cavill and an octagon it's at like the end of the day it's like sexual pareidolia where they're like seeing something that isn't there yeah yeah it is it is very strange we have another why do you why do you just make my life worse <laughs> every day we do this show every day we do this show i have to put on my freaking hazmat suit and go into the depths of the internet and look at all of the ways in which i'm like what the hell we appreciate you for that yeah. We do. We appreciate you putting on a, a strong front there was a 20 when I force from you to Bender look at the stuff. Offender. Yes. Um, I think before that we got a twenty from DC and C saying female bronies. I really hope that female bronies aren't a thing. Mm -hmm. That's awful. Bender the Offender said my testosterone dropped just by you showing the clip those guys of those guys doing the That's trend. So, like there yeah, was, it's like by osmosis. There was one where the dude like put the thing in the cake and then giggle. Wait, we got a hundred dollar super chat from Trudy Jones. Hear me out. Chair. Okay. Hear me out. This chair is kind of hot. I mean, it literally says Boston on there. It's so, Boston. I mean, I don't think it's that's an alpha chair. Yeah, it's, you know, it, I, I, I imagine that chair talks a lot like Andrew Tate. If any of you in the chat have a hear me out, please give it. I mean, let, let us know. Like we want to hear your controversial um, yeah. picks. There, for, was, for... there was a point here where this dude like put the thing in the cake and then giggled and put his hands to his mouth and stepped back and I literally died of secondhand embarrassment. Like we're cooked. Yeah, yeah we're cooked. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, I just, I, I, the next thing you know, they're, they're sexually attracted to thimbles and... I mean, there's just there there's, probably there's is no people going back. Who are sexually attracted to thimbles. There's apparently a fetish for everything. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.